Okay, folks, uh, so now we can resume here uh, with the installation and configuration of the Catalan Studio uh, and the configuration with the GitHub. So uh, in the earlier, uh, so let me let me start here. So we were, we covered where to get the Catalan Studio. Uh, we covered how to download or where to download Catalan Studio after you sign up on the catalan.com. And then we went through the configuration of a GitHub account, which is required in order to install and configure uh, Catalan Studio on your desktop. So that those first, second, and third item, uh, first, second, and third items are covered in the earlier video or, or part one for Catalan Studio installation and configuration. Uh, so in this video, I will cover uh, how to install once you once you download the Catalan Studio, then how to go about installation and uh, what you need to configure to make it uh, make it run. So this is where uh, I am on my Catalan uh, Studio uh, on in the cloud. So let me go back here. So I'm going to sign out from here and we'll start here. So I have my account the login and password on the Cat Catalan test ops and I'll click on sign, sign in. Okay, let's see if it works this time. <clears throat> Okay, so that this is where I am and my project that I created in the earlier video that is called Arflown. This is how the dashboard looks currently. Um, if you have not already downloaded, you can download it from here, uh, the Catalan Studio. And once you download, let me find that where it will be. So typically when you download, it will be under downloads folder on your desktop uh, or on your machine. So I can go there and I'll see this file um, here for the Catalan Studio. Now this is you. This is a zip file, so you can double click on it. And uh, you will see a folder here. Uh, this is what you will need. Um, the installation is pretty straightforward. Not much installation is required other than uh, you need to copy this folder and put it somewhere on your on your hard disk, uh, it's a zip file, right? Uh, so what you download is a zip file, so you can simply extract it on your machine somewhere. So I just copied the folder from the zip file. So again, I go back in the zip file and I copy the folder and let me go and put it on my C drive. So right now I don't have that 851 version. So let me right click on it and I'll just simply say paste. So it will take um, <clears throat> probably a minute here, um, depending on your computer speed and so forth. So let's see when it's done. Okay, so installation is about to be, uh, well, unzip extraction uh, or unzip process is about to be done. So, okay, great. So now I have the folder here that is created um, on my you know, on my C drive. And uh, let's uh, continue the setup process. So at this point, I what I can do is I can double click on it, the folder, and you will find this Catalan application here. So this is what you need to click to open it. And if you are on Windows 11 machine uh, or Windows 10, I guess, um, it will ask you, it's not a Microsoft's verified app. You probably want to go ahead and install anyway. So click on install anyway. And it will open up Catalan Studio for the first time.
Okay, so let's wait. Uh, it takes about 30 seconds to one minute to open the Catalan Studio for the first time. All right. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so here you are, you will be prompted here uh, for the Catalan Studio. So again, you need to fill out the information. Uh, if you do not have the project entered, then you, you, you will have to fetch the project for the first time. It says the credentials are invalid, okay? so. Let's see where we can uh, configure certain things, okay? So in the Catalan, you need to go to the test ops, cat, click on Catalan test ops, and it will take you to this particular thing. And this is where it's pulling the project name from. So I'll go back to the Catalan Studio and see if I can uh, go back to the tools. Uh, test object, let's see, where do we configure import settings, import keywords. So just get familiar with this menu items here. Um, action, project, debug, test ops, ALM test on management, requests. Let's see what we have on the windows, preferences, tools, and so forth. Okay, so I'm already logged in to my Catalan Studio and this is my profile here. Now I'm logged in as a different user. So for you guys, uh, it will not be the case and you will not have to configure much, but let me log out from here so that I can show you what it looks like when you first open it. Okay, so this is the first screen that will be prompted when you open the Catalan Studio, okay? Uh, and you need to provide your test ops username and password. So my test of username and password is uh, IntelliX QA September 2022 at gmail.com. My password is my password or whatever my password is and click on activate. So at this point, this is the second screen. Once you are successfully logged in, here, um, this is where you will need, it will be prompted. And most of you are working on web UI projects, so you can just select that, get started for web UI project and uh, so forth. So now Catalan will fetch all the settings from there. Um, and it will say 30 days remaining for the trial license and so forth. Now still, you cannot do anything here except open project. So what it's doing is, so you have Catalan Studio connected with your test ops, okay? And you, you I created a Airflow project in my first video. If you don't know uh, what this one is, then go back to my previous video and watch it because you need to have that set up. So now what I need to do is once I'm logged in, I need to connect with my project or open this Airflow project from the Catalan Studio. So any test artifacts, test suites, or anything that I do will be pushed out to the my test ops in the cloud and the project, uh, my source code or my test cases, source code and everything will be uh, sent to the GitHub. So there, there are a couple of steps uh, we need to do after you log in or configure your profile. First thing, let's go and do open project. Okay, so here, since I'm already logged in and it knows what project I have, so it fetches this Airflown uh, project. Now, second part is the Git. Uh, so this part we configured in the first step, in the first video earlier, in the step number, three here 
for Catalan Studio. Okay, if you don't know how to do that, go and watch my earlier video. So I need to provide for, in order to connect to this Git repository, I need to provide the username and personal access token that I created in that step when I configured the GitHub project. So let's find it. <clears throat> so my GitHub repo URL, it automatically fetched it, which should match it here. Uh, this is what my GitHub URL is. Now my login, this is what I'm going to use as my login. This is what I'm going to use as my personal access token. If you do not know what these things are, watch my previous video, uh, uh, earlier video. And I'm going to paste it. And I'll say save authentication. So it, everything will be saved with the project. This one, you do not have to change anything, but uh, if you have multiple branches, you can obviously fetch it and uh, from there, and it should connect successfully using these two items. And at this point, I'm ready to use my Catalan Studio. So let me go and click OK. Configuration is pretty much done. And it should connect to the test ops, my project, and I should see additional things. And I'll say maybe later. Boom, that's where I am now. Now I'm ready. My Catalan Studio is configured properly. I'm ready to create my first test case and uh, so forth. And you will see the test.txt file here uh, that we created in the early, uh, basically as part of the Git configuration, which is also here. Okay, so you are ready to write your first test case. Obviously, you can watch other videos, how to go about creating the test case, how to go about what this object repository is, what is data files, uh, and uh, so forth. So just watch my other videos uh, that we have. But at this point, everything looks good and you are already, uh, you, you can write, start working on your test case. Happy testing.